Today, we're talking all about how your suit should fit. What's up, all you good fellow fly guys? You know who it is, the cat in the hat, your resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michelangelo, stararchitects.com, here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to the styling thing. And it's what the world Wednesdays, yo. I hope that you've been showing up this week in style, but if you haven't, if you've been having some issues with your image, where you find yourself just a little confused every time you step into your closet, well, fret no more. That is exactly why I'm here, to ensure that you are showing up in style and leaving a lasting impression with your image. If this is your first time here, welcome. Perfect time for you to be here so that you can make sure that you are not making some of the other mistakes that other fellows are when they are first purchasing their suits. If you enjoy the content, which I'm pretty sure you will, then please feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to be a character in your stylistic story. If you have already subscribed, you're appreciated as well. Please make sure that you hit that notification bell and that way you will be notified every time new content comes out. Now today we're going to be talking about the basics uh, for the fit of your suit. And the reason being is because I don't want to get too advanced for some of you guys who are just starting out. Now we will do a part two and potentially a part three to this uh, conversation and that will be where we start getting a lot more advanced for some things that you want to pay attention to. But just starting out, we are going to talk about five aspects of the jacket and then we're going to talk about some things that you want to pay attention to when it comes to your pants. So before we talk about those five components, even starting out with the jacket, I want you to always remember two things and that is when you are shopping for a suit jacket, sport jacket, or anything that's going to be slightly tailored, it's always about your balance and about proportion so when it comes to balance you just want to make sure that everything is in alignment with itself because symmetry balance of where your eye is going to focus will actually increase the attraction that you end up conveying when you step out and proportion is nothing more than the size and scale so I want you to think about those two things how to always balance out your look and maintain proportion. So let's start out with your shoulder. Now, the reason why we wanna focus on your shoulders is because your shoulders actually gonna set that line for your focus. Now, how should those shoulders fit? When it comes to your point to point, now your point is going to be your shoulder bone to your shoulder bone. You want to measure that um, from the bone to the bone and you want your jacket to extend just either a eighth or a quarter of an inch beyond your shoulder. If it goes too far other than that, you'll see some bellowing here. And if it's too tight, then you'll start seeing a indentation right here. Mine is bordering just along that line of being almost too tight, uh, but this is a tailored piece. And so that's why it is that specific. Now, the reason why you want to focus on your shoulders is because that's going to be your scale of balance. If your shoulders are off, that could actually throw off the rest of your look. So you want to make sure that you are starting off with your shoulders. If the jacket is too big, then go ahead and leave it. And if it's too small, go ahead and leave it. The reason being is even if you have a masterful and skilled tailor and you're going to need one, it is going to cost you a lot of money. It's going to cost you a lot of chips in order for you to have that fixed. And Therefore, a lot of guys do, really don't want to make that investment. So moving next, we're going to talk all about the lapels. Now, in recent times, it has become much more fashionable for guys to wear skinny lapels, but you always want to pay attention to proportion when you are wearing uh, these types of lapels. Now, generally speaking, a tall, skinny guy like me is going to do better with wider lapels because it will balance out my thinner frame and will give the appearance of more breadth so it'll make me look wider and not to mention the fact that to me it just looks a little bit cooler now when it comes to lapels you want to make sure that they lay flat on your chest and that you have a very natural line if you see any bellowing coming out of your chest then you probably have a jacket that is slightly too small and you want to either open up the jacket or go up a size you also want to pay attention to the balance when it comes to the lapel to the collar and the collar to the tie. So for me, because I like to wear wider lapels and I have a more ovular shape, then I wear a spread collared shirt and I wear a wider tie so that everything is in proportion. So the next part of the jacket that we're going to talk about is the waist. 
And the waist is going to be very important because even though it may fit in the chest, it still could have some excess fabric in the waist. Now, this is not necessarily a bad thing or a hard thing to particularly fix, but you want to make sure that you have enough room to move. And there's going to be two things you're going to focus on here, and that is your button closure. So you want to make sure that the button is not being pulled on too much. And a great way for you to practice that is to just give it a light pull and it should be able to move back and forth pretty effortlessly without it being too constricting and also without it being too loose. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is the jacket. If you see a jacket and it's giving you X pleats right where the button closes, then that means that it's probably too tight. It's wrong. It's giving you that X marks the spot. And so you don't want to get that jacket. Now, again, this can be fixed by the tailor opening up the jacket, but a lot of times tailors will tell you it's much easier to cut something down than it is to open it up. The next thing that you want to talk about is the skirt of the jacket. Now, the skirt of the jacket is the bottom piece of the jacket. And a lot of guys now will wear their jackets way too short. I've gone out and I've seen guys with the skirt of the jacket on the top of their ass. And I'm like, so don't be that guy. Ideally, when you are wearing your suit jacket, it should cover your buttocks. But if you have a more pronounced butt like me, then you wanna make sure that the jacket is long enough to cover it and not pull out of any of the vents from your jacket. And when it comes to the front of your jacket, you wanna make sure that the jacket closes uh, in a way that it doesn't show your shirt or doesn't show like your belt or any of those things and leave you exposed. And the reason being is simply because you want a streamlined look. That's what gives you a suave, debonair, sophisticated type of look when you are stepping out. Now, the last thing that we have to talk about is something that consistently haunts me. And that's because I have super long arms and that is the sleeve. Now, when it comes to your sleeves, there have been so many different conversations and so many different schools of thoughts of how long your, your suit jacket should be because it's going to be dictated by your shirt jacket. Now the school of thought that I quickly adopted was cuff fabric is going to match the amount of fabric that is on your collar. If you do that, you're pretty much golden. You always want to make sure that the piece looks like it is fit for you, but it's comfortable enough for you to move in. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is your trousers. Now your trousers are seemingly a very easy thing to make sure fits, but it's still something that so many guys miss because of its simplicity. You really only need to pay attention to four items when it comes to your trousers. And that is your rise, that is your seat, that is your thigh measurement, and that is the break of your pants. So when it comes to the first aspect, the rise, the rise is actually going to be measured, generally speaking, from your crotch to your belly button if you want to get the proper rise. Now the problem with a lot of guys when they're wearing their suit pants is that they're wearing their suit pants like they are jeans or like they are casual pieces. So they're wearing them probably about a half inch above their hips when they actually should be wearing it a quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch below their belly button. The reason being is this is going to create longer lines, it's going to create a more streamlined effect, and it will actually cover your suit when it's closed properly. The second thing that you want to pay attention to is your seat. Now when you are paying attention to your seat, you want the trousers to fit you where it's giving you a nice silhouette, but not so tight that if you were to bend down and pick up something that you would have to run out of the building because your pants are split. You want to make sure that it is going to give you enough movement. A lot of guys will grab trousers that are tight and they think because they are moving that it's still okay. But fam, trust that those seams are holding on for dear life. So make sure that you give yourself a little bit of room when it comes to your seat. Now, when it comes to your thigh measurement, this is something that I still wrestle with when it comes to me helping clients and making sure that their pants fit them properly because depending on the fabric and depending on the cut uh, through the rest of the trouser, that thigh measurement can be a little tricky. So you just wanna make sure that the thigh is not fitting you too tight, but it's also not baggy um, because that just looks sloppy. So you want to pinch the side of your trousers to make sure that you have mm, maybe about a quarter to uh, three eighths of an inch of fabric. And, and that will make sure that the pants are draped 
when you are dressed. Now, the last part of the trousers that you want to pay attention to are the break of your pants. Now, the break can either have no break, a slight break, or a full break. Now, if you are going to have no break, it's probably going to have a little bit more of an Italian or potentially shrunken look. And this is a great opportunity for you to show off your socks and how creative you were in putting that whole look together. And if you're a little bit more conservative or you have to handle business, then you want a slight break on your trousers. And that way it won't be too contemporary and too stylish and it'll maintain a certain level of conservatism. If you do a full break, then you probably are a preacher or a deacon at somebody's church because these are the only cats who are still rocking those full breaks with their gaiters and their eight button suits so it's probably not a way that you want to go so that's it listen guys this is just the basics we could go much deeper into this but i want to make sure that we are setting the proper foundation so that you can begin building upon it leave me some comments in the comment box letting me know about some things that you potentially learned or some things that i may have missed i'm sure some of the guys in the community will definitely appreciate your insight and you know i'm always down to learn something new if you found the information beneficial please go ahead and give this a thumbs up it'll help my channel grow and i want to make sure that I'm helping as many fellas as possible. Please make sure that you share this with a friend. You never know who may need some styling tips as they develop and cultivate their style. And don't forget that we are here every Monday through Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And lastly, don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you should always dress to express. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.